Hello again, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. So as always, before we get started here, we're going to take a look at your Oracle cards. And this week, Taurus from Lay Vampire, you pulled the call of the night. Daring, adventure, and excitement. And from Chakra Wisdom, you pulled despondence. Now, the call of the night from Lay Vampire I love because the blessing is just like this barrage of words. But really, this card is about you getting out of your comfort zone, which for Taurus can be hard. It's about needing to experience new things and new people, things that you normally wouldn't experience. The blessing here says attraction, stimulated, daring, unexpected, thrill, danger, change in circumstance, drawn to the occult, unknown, wish to understand, experiment, experimentation, challenges, and tests. When you look at that with despondence from Chakra Wisdom is where the worry starts to come in here because I think for some of you, you are feeling stuck. Despondence from Chakra Wisdom says that by taking action, I found the road out. But for some of you, you may be feeling immobilized. There is a need here for you to start taking action and not accepting the consequences of current circumstances. There really is a need here for you to remove obstacles in your path and change your relationship to issues. The big thing here is how you relate to an issue is the issue. And there is a need here for some of you to get out of this feeling and start experiencing something new. It's like the two parts of yourselves are like pulling at each other. There's the one that's not wanting to take action, but needing to. And then the other part is saying, yes, we have to, because there's something else that you are wanting to experience. All right, Taurus, here we go. Here is the energy coming through. The Ace of Wands, look at that shit. That's nice, nice. So the Ace of Wands, some of you may be receiving new opportunities here to follow your passion. And again, you have to take action here. These are new creative ideas. These are opportunities to travel. This is your passion what inspires you in making the most of whatever opportunities are coming through here. But seeing this as a signifier is fantastic. It's fantastic. But again, despondency, if you're feeling this pull here to start experiencing different things, you can't allow situations to keep you from taking action because really the wands is where the action is. But seeing this again is fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the past coming through the Ten of Pentacles, this is suggesting that some of you have a very stable foundation and some financial backing, which is, again, perfect for Taurus. Anytime the Pentacles start to show up and they're good ones, especially where you get to enjoy the things that you have, I think it's fantastic for Taurus. But this to me is almost saying that for those of you that have some financial stability, maybe you should look at doing some traveling here, especially with the Ace of Wands being your signifier. If you have the ability financially to seek out new experiences, do it, do it. But I like seeing the Ten of Pentacles as the past coming through. Stable foundation, security. And in the present, well now, <laughs> the lovers. And seeing the Ace of Wands, hmm, 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 hmm. Last week, the lovers, that was your best path to follow. And here you are in the present moment. The lovers, for me, it, it's, if you were to see the Two of Cups, immediately it says a relationship. But the lovers, there's a couple of different ways to look at this. These do not necessarily have to do with romantic relationships. But seeing the Ace of Wands, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The other thing, too, is about putting love first in your life. Very important. Very important. The other thing is these are major decisions. And the decision here with the lovers is temptation or moral high ground. But I don't feel like that that's that won't be an issue for you. But I'm looking at this and I'm looking at you creating the stable foundation and love seems to be the main focus here. And with the Ace of Wands, Whew, some of you are having some passionate affairs or passionate relationships, and it's fantastic. And you're working at <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles, busting your ass, right? But it's showing off your talents. It's seeing results of the efforts that you put through. 
And again, it suggests that you're doing something that you enjoy doing. And I'm looking at that eight and the 10 and going, yeah, some of you may really be loving your job right now and really seeing some financial benefit out of that. But, uh, you know, looking at that in terms of the Ace of Wands, this is you making the most of this opportunity, especially if it's connected to a love situation. You are stable. You are stable. When you look at the call of the night in the Ten of Pentacles, it's understandable why despondence is coming through here for some of you. When it comes to Taurus, again, being the fixed sign, when things start to change, that's when difficulties start to show up. And I can understand why, you know, it may be hard for some of you to want to get up and get out there and experience different things when why? I've got stability. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at you working at and making the most of your relationship, especially with the Ace of Wands, especially with that there. Your best path to follow, the Knight of Pentacles, and this speaks to you. It speaks to you. This is slow moving energy and that is perfect for Taurus. Abrupt change is not a good thing. Seeing the Knight of Pentacles is just saying that whatever future plans you start to lay down here, you know, make sure that it's practical. But also there's this understanding here that this is long term. This isn't the short term. If you're looking at making the most out of a love situation and the passion that's involved in your relationships, the Knight of Pentacles is telling you that this isn't something that should be like just a one-time event or a one-night stand or just in the moment feeling passion. This is long-term, long-term security. But I'm looking at these and these are fantastic, fantastic. For some of you, financially beautiful. You guys are doing beautiful. The Knight of Pentacles is just reminding you here is your best path to follow that, you know, we're looking long term. And this is long term, right? The efforts that we put through are not going to be for short term happiness. This is sustainable for you. Oh, in your environment, the chariot. And, you know, it's funny because with Taurus, I see this one a lot. The chariot getting control over those opposing forces. And, and again, I think that some of you, if you have some financial stability, it's time to take a vacation and it is time to start doing some traveling, right? Call of the night, feeling that pull, going somewhere new. But the chariot, it's like for some of you where, you know, you may have had difficulties in relationships before. Not only are you getting control over what is happening with you financially, you're doing it in a love standpoint as well. You're getting both of them going in the same direction. And that's good. That's good. Your stability is connected with the love in your life and what you have love for. It's not going in two opposite directions anymore. You're, you're moving forward, right? When you look at the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot, though, you know, there's that message again that here, if you know, you're going to be moving fast into a new love situation, because this definitely could be for some of you a new, new passion, new love, right? Be careful about going too fast. When you see the chariot with the lovers immediately, it says that you may be tempted to go too fast in a new love situation. And if you're willing to put forth the effort to make the most of a, a new passionate relationship, there is a need here with the Knight of Pentacles to just slow down a minute, slow down, because we want this to be long-term security, a stable relationship and getting both of them going in the same direction. But again, travel, travel. And then some of you may be traveling to meet somebody new. Your hopes and your fears, death, look at it. Woo! <laughs> death is basically saying that your old way of being is coming to an end. An old way of living, an old way of thinking, the old is is dying. It's done. It's gone with this. You know, again, I, I talked about judgment before and judgment, you know, depicting the phoenix rising from the ashes. But this card is, you know, very much that it is the phoenix. And I love that it, it is depicted in this one in this deck. I love it. This is transformation, death and transformation a new way of being, a new way of thinking, a new way of living. 
And maybe, you know, getting out of that feeling of just needing to stay stuck in the same circumstances. But I think for some of you, it's not really that you're stuck. It's that you're not wanting to change what is stable. But then at the same time, some of you are wanting to make the most out of this. And death is just saying that there needs to be a new way of looking at these kinds of situations when it comes to love and when it comes to your security and stability. But there is a change in you, big change, big change happening. Look at the majors and then having this ace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there it is. There's judgment. <laughs> Some of you are definitely, definitely feeling a rebirth happening within you. And I, I really think that for some of you, you're looking at your, your relationships and love situations in a much different way. Judgment is, you know, the review. It is the review of the things that we may have done in the past, especially with death sitting underneath it. Looking at it, assessing it, making some judgments, and then going through that rebirth process. And it's like some of you are seeing now that maybe there is a need here to start making the most of these opportunities. But, you know, I think seeing the Ten of Pentacles as the past coming through, I think for some of you, you may be worried about it disrupting your stability, but that coming through is suggesting that if you're looking at new love opportunities, you need to look at it differently and change the way that you've acted in relationships before too with the both of them. Don't be tempted to go too fast in a love situation because for you, this isn't a one-time thing. This is making the most out of these opportunities and have it being long-lasting and stable, stable for a lot of you. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Taurus. I love it. This week, you are the phoenix rising from the ashes. Love is important to you. You're making the most out of the opportunities. I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just remember here with these two, you know, if you are traveling to meet a new person and like starting something new with somebody, for some of you, you have to be careful here about wanting to go too fast. But overall, beautiful. It's beautiful. And judgment too. And here's the other thing. When you look at despondency, it, the wake up call, the call to action to go do something, right? But I love it. Overall, I love it. I, I think that you're going to make the most of what is presented to you. And for some of you, it, it's like a, a new start within a relationship. But I think for a lot of you, meeting somebody new and possibly traveling to see this person. But death and judgment, beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. Gratitude is so important. When we're grateful for the things that we have, it brings in more so important and it changes your vibrational level and it puts you right on target with the things that you are wanting to manifest energy new energy the ace of wands making the most of it and magic magic happening in your life through the changes the major changes that are happening with you i love it taurus very soon <laughs> no shit no shit clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now i yeah right right like it, it's perfect it's perfect so very soon for some of you you may be getting into a new love situation where there's this passion this excitement but clearly deciding is where death and judgment comes in and then you know again needing to take it slow not being tempted to move too quickly into a new love situation because you're wanting to make the most out of what happens here <laughs> Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, that's kind of where the feeling was with the Ten of Pentacles coming in. You know, let, letting go of control, right? But looking at the chariot, though, there's also there letting go of control, but needing to have a little bit of control, but not letting it put you in a spot where you are despondent and not acting on that pull of the call of the night. I love it, Taurus. This is a beautiful reading. I think you guys are changing yourselves on a very deep and spiritual level. Looking at these three majors right here, fantastic. You are going to feel a sense of rebirth. Love is where your focus is, but your understanding 
that there is a new way of being and a new way of making the most of the new energetic opportunities that are coming to you. All right, Taurus, I love this reading. I love this reading where you have the lovers as your best path to follow. Now it is in the present moment. And I really do think that this is centered around some of you who are single. You might be meeting somebody new here. But seeing the lovers here and your focus being there with the Ace of Wands is fantastic. It is fantastic. I just think that some of you need to slow down a minute here. Don't be tempted to go too fast in a love situation because you want this to last. You want the security in the relationship to last. And I think some of you are maybe fearing the change that may be going on just a little bit. But seeing the chariot in your environment is saying that there's potential here to start moving forward and have that sense of victory when it comes to changing the way that you are in love situations. Here's the thing. When you look at death and you look at judgment, especially connected with the lovers. This is talking about you changing the way that love situations happen for you. If some of you have been through like different difficult relationships before, you're changing that now and you're changing the way that you see it when it comes to your passion and your security in a relationship. You're getting both of them moving in the same direction right now. For some of you, I'm telling you, your relationship seems to be really important and you are making the most of it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is fantastic to see this as the overall energy here is beautiful. It's beautiful. And I really do think that a lot of you are working on yourselves and you're working on your relationships as well. And I think it's beautiful. And you're seeing the magic in life. And you're tapping into that energy of the Ace of Wands. It's fantastic. And gratitude. So important. It's so important. When we're grateful for the things that we have, it brings in more. It's so important. But I think some of you may have a little bit of fear going on. But I'm telling you, there's a pull going on with you guys right now. Especially seeing this in the chariot. It's time to go out. It's time to travel. And if you're traveling to meet a new lover, have fun. But remember, this is long lasting. This isn't just a one time thing here for some of you. You're wanting your security and you're wanting the love in your life going in the same direction. Now, when it comes to those of you who are single very soon, yeah, I would say so. But again, clearly deciding what you want. And the big thing there is where death and judgment comes in. You're looking at the past and the way that you've acted in the past and you're changing that big time. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, like uh, if you're in a relationship and you're happy, letting go of control issues will open you up to that magic in the relationship and letting go of control with Taurus. Yeah, I think that goes without saying, right? I love you guys, but, and I know because I have Taurus rising you want to have control over what's happening, but sometimes maybe you just need to let go a little bit and have some fun. But overall, Taurus, I love this reading. I love how your relationship is changing now. And not only that, but you are changing as well. 